Hi everyone, join me as I take on a challenge to fill my text with photo in Canva using six amazing techniques. Let's see how creative I can get. The first is Font Studio. So I will add an image to my page and then go to Apps and then type Font and choose Font Studio. Click this icon and then select one of these templates. For example, I will choose this one. And then scroll down and click letter fill, click here. And then click image. And then select your image here. And then click use selected image. And then add to design. Remove the image. That is the first. The second is font frame. So go to apps and then type font. And choose font frame. Click this icon, select your image, scroll down, and then click use selected image. And now you have it. You can change the font and you can adjust the border like this and then add to design. Now remove the image and you get the text. The third is by masking the text. So type your text here, for example. Type here design. I will change the font to any font I like. For example, I will choose Aloha. And then I will add element like on the graphic. I will choose this one. Arrange the size and place it here. And then I will add a square. And I will increase the size. I will change the color of the square to yellow. And send it to back. Change the text color to white. Same color as the background. And also this element to white. And then download this page as PNG. Page 3 only. Now remove all this element. And I will change the page color to other color. And then upload the PNG here. Choose BG Remover to remove all white color. Now I will crop it. I will change the page color to white. Back to white. And then I will increase the size. Now you can add photo or video to this page for example i will add this blue of blue water surface i'll place it here i will add it so it more blue and then send it to back and then select the frame go to edit choose dual tone click custom and click the highlight color, change it to white, and the shadow to white. So now you have it. And you can also add the video here. Like this one. Like you see on Moana's title. Send backward. And you can play it. All right. And the port, I will use cut out apps in Canva. First, I will add a photo here. And then go to apps. And then type type. And choose type cut out. Click this icon. And then go to background image. And choose file. So this app cannot use the image that we just upload to our page. It will use the image on our computer. So click choose file. I will choose one of my image here and click open. Scroll down and you will see this one. And then click start edit mode. So you can edit the position. You can scale and also you can rotate. Okay. And after that, finish editing and add to design. I will remove this image first. Okay, so now you have it.
and the fifth is using TextMaker app in Canva. So I will add an image here and then go to apps and then type text and I will choose text maker. Click this icon and then choose one of these templates. For example, I will choose just this one and then scroll down on the effect. Click this arrow and choose filling. Click image and enable image texture and then choose your selected image so now you have it and then add to design and choose medium and click add to design so now you have it and the last is the old school leather frame in canva just go to element and type here leather frame and click here ceo and then select the text that you want to make for example i will choose this t and e and then just type here x frame and we we'll get the x okay also i will type here text and one duplicate the t here select all and reduce the size and then add an image like maybe this rock and send it to back and then duplicate and insert to the first T duplicate again the image and insert to E duplicate insert to X duplicate insert to T and then double click on the T first T and increase the image to become the to become the same size with the origin and then click done do the same way to the other text and then select the origin photo you can remove it or you can just crop it like this all right so now you have it if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out my other tutorials and leave a comment about your favorite method I love hearing from you and can't wait to see what amazing designs you create using these techniques. See you next video and have fun with Canva.